All right. Uh, uh, tournament time. <laughs> yes. Tournament yeah. time. Yeah. It's, let's it's March. It's, it's March. It's March, baby. It's March. Okay. Uh, Friday games. Kind of blaze through some of these. These are games. I I, I love the first round. Friday, Thursday, or Thursday, Friday, any of those games. But all right, we're going to start with New Mexico. New Mexico, who won the Mountain West Conference tournament, they were, a lot of folks thought they might be an at-large bid if they didn't win it, but if they they not wouldn't have been. Not this year. Not yeah. this year just because of all the bid stealing. Yeah. So they were 11 seed taking on Clemson. Mexi- New Mexico favored by two points. Rick Pitino's son's coach. Yeah, yeah. Richard Pitino. I, I, I'm I, with the masses here. I'm going to take the Lobos. Everyone's. I, I don't know anyone taking Clemson. I really don't. It's crazy. And it's not just recency bias. I like this New Mexico team early in the year. But they stubbed their toe way too many times. They lost to UNLV twice. Oh, yeah. They lost at home as an 18-point favorite to Air Force. Yes, that's, that's a bad loss. Inexcusable. Yeah. Now, they beat them by a million in the conference tournament. And I, I do think having three guards with Jayla House, I do think this is what's the kind of the makeup of a team you want this time of year. They're fearless. They have skill. And I think Patino, with his dad not in the tournament, can help get some wisdom he shared. And he's got enough DNA as well in the coaching DNA. But I think they can make a run. I don't think much of the ACC this year. We saw Virginia in the first four. Now, obviously, Virginia's on an island by themselves with their pathetic offense. But this Clemson team played better earlier in the year. They haven't been great down the stretch. Coin flip game, I'll take the Lobos. I just feel better about the pick. But I warn everyone, I haven't heard anyone on the Tigers, so they'll probably win by double. Oh, man. I, I say that New Mexico, they're feeling pretty good about themselves right now. Three big NBA names that are on that team with Patino's son, Jamal Mashburn's son, and Eddie House's son. Makes us feel old, doesn't it? Man, I'm ancient over here. Okay, let's let's go to the next one. James Madison and whiskey. You got me seeing whiskey. I've never said that before ever oh, yeah. about Wisconsin. But Wisconsin's a five seed, and they are favored by five and a half. So which version of Wisconsin are we going to get? Uh, I think we get the version that ended the season. Okay, so playing pretty well. Yes. Right? Beat Purdue. And almost won the Big Ten title. I'm a recency bias guy when it comes to tournament. Or you could say the one earlier in the season that till mid February was 10th in the country. Oh, shit. But then they went on a horrendous tailspin. So I agree. I think Wisconsin's got enough. It's an atypical Badgers team in that you have a team that's good efficiency offensively and not good defensively. Yeah, that's a bizarro, which is a bizarro world. Right. I think James Madison's going to be a very trendy play. I think so too. I'm just on the favorite here. I, I'm on Wisconsin. I, I, I think they're playing well, and they're they should. If you take out that middle part of the season, which obviously if you took out everyone's worst stretch, they'd be better. But this on paper is a much better team. It feels like a short number and a little bit of a contrarian play, which contrarian favorite is rare. But we get one of those, and I'll play the Badgers. Here. Okay, almost a Kansas blue chalk. Ooh, on that ooh, one. Chalk there you go. Chalk. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Northwestern at FAU. Uh, Northwestern tonight. This is these are always like fun ones. These are coin flips all the time. Anytime I'm filling out a bracket, I see a nine and eight. I'm like, I don't. Know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, FAU is a two and a half point favorite. So obviously we know the FAU name from going to the Final Four a year ago, but this team's been really a disappointment against the spread as big favorites in their conference play. Right. So they were like they were double digit favorites. to Temple got bet from eleven to fourteen and a half and lost outright in the conference semis. So now this game, I th- FAU's gotten the money. There's some threes out there, mostly two and a halves. Mm-hmm. I just like this Northwestern team. They're going to have the best player on the court in Bubui. Okay. Um, now they've lost Barry for the season, so that hurts them, and they were already thin. But I think I think they have enough. I think Collins will move some pieces and some mastery and slide a hand on the offense and the backdoor cuts. I think no- Northwestern gets it done. I, I prefer to bet against F- FAU in the, in the large favorite role. But I will I will take Wildcats here. I, I think they get them. Man, you're gonna have smoke coming out of your television on Friday, aren't you? <laughs> they're never they're not going off <laughs> for, for a full long weekend. I love it. I love it. Good fast break right there, man. 